Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is slightly different because I'm going to be giving you guys a tour around this insane mountain bike themed house slash accommodation which is super close to Bike Park Wales. Let's get inside and check it out. house the best bit of all it sleeps up to nine people so you and your mates can come stay here while shredding the bike park and the local trails I'm now going to give you guys a little tour of the place starting with the driveway which is a sick feature it can fit up to four vehicles on it really good parking and you can park on the road if you needed to let's get inside and check out the workshop what this is is a 20 foot shipping container over here you've got an e-bike charging point and you've got a workstation just to ensure you don't go out on the trails with a flat battery. There's shelves underneath so you can store all your gear. Come this way, it takes you to the workstation where there's tools provided, pretty much everything you will need. There is a bike stand there and there's even a space where you can chill out or your mates can heckle you while you're badly trying to fix your bike, in my case. Come down this end. What we have here, this is a real highlight for me bike storage. A lot of places you go will say they have a shed. Obviously our bikes are very expensive and the last thing we want to be doing is cramming them all together in a shed, scratching them. The bike lodge has got um, eight different slots where you can store your bike safely, they can't fall over. Not only that, there's ground anchors which are welded to the floor and the sides of the containers with a really secure heavy duty lock supplied which loops all the way through the bikes, locking them together, keep them nice and secure. All you need to do is bring your own padlock. Let's get outside and check out the bike washing, bike washing zone. The bike wash area, super handy, especially at the moment with the trails being so muddy. Sometimes when you're away for like a few days or a week, staying in a hotel, bed and breakfast, there's no option to clean your bike, which I personally don't like because your bike just ends up covered. You get all grit and horrible sand and dust or whatever in your bearings and it just makes your bike feel pretty rough. Here, as you can see, there's a specific bike wash zone with drainage, um, you've got mounting points for your bike so it uh, can stand up stable and secure. You can turn it around and face it the other way or hang it off of the seat using this one. There is a low pressure jet wash supplied. It's low pressure because you don't want something super powerful which is gonna blow all the grease out of your bearings and damage your bike. Moving over to this side of the garden, you have a nice little chill out zone, which when the weather's better than it is now, you and your mates can sit outside, have a laugh, you could do a barbecue and just chill out. One super important element of this place to me is the security. There's security cameras mounted up there looking over the container and they run 24 hours a day. There's also one on the side of the container which is looking at the only entrance and exit of the place. So if there is any dodgy business going on, then it'll be spotted and it just keeps an eye on your vehicles overnight. Most bed and breakfasts, when you check in or hotels, they'll have a key safe box here with a code and you just open it up and get your key out. This one is a keypad, which when you check in, you will get your own unique code. When you check out, that code is erased and it's a completely different code for the next person. So that is really secure. The weather's pretty grim outside today, so we're gonna head in, check the rest of the place out and try this keypad system out. As you come through the front door, the first room on your left, follow me, is the kitchen. To me, this is super important and really good because I travel a lot and eating out all the time gets really, really expensive. It just means that even if you want to just prepare breakfast or lunch here, you save yourself a few quid. The dining room. One of my favorite things throughout the whole house is the mountain bike theme. For example, you have got a trail map of Bike Park Wales on the wall here, which is sick, all your runs. Best bit of all that bike park is located five minutes up the road. This side, 
you've got a number plate wall from enduro downhill races. So if you're into a bit of racing and you're staying here, feel free to leave your number plate and add to the collection. As you land at the top of the first flight of stairs, the mountain bike, the free road mountain bike theme is continued. You've got another trail map there. Quem Khan, that's South Wales. That's not too far from here as well. Got some cool dark fest stuff, a guy crashing. Trail map of Landegla, which is North Wales. So that's a good place to check out also. Come this way, brings you into the lounge. Smart TV, which has YouTube on there and Netflix, Amazon Prime, etc. You've got a whole collection here of mountain bike DVDs where the trail ends, tricks and stunts. So you and your mates can hang out and have a little watch through those. Over in this corner, you've got broadband. So if you're like me, internet's super important so I can constantly upload videos, giving you guys things to watch. Super comfy oh, chairs so you can just chill out and watch all them old DVDs. On the right in this room, you have shower number one. This place has two showers, which I think is really sick because when there's a big group of you riding and you're all covered in mud, it's horrible if you have to wait too long for a shower. Second shower in the main bathroom is in here. So you've got the shower, toilet, and a basin just around the corner. The third floor is where the bedrooms start. What I love is all the bedrooms are named this one that we've been staying in is the Just Send It room. And, well, I'll take you inside the Just Send It room. It's just sick, it carries the mountain bike theme throughout. We've got Black Mountains up here, actually. That line there, the full moto line, I think that's the one with the massive jumps on it. To me, this is the sickest thing that you can have all your riding gear laid out. I've got a few jerseys hanging up, some evening wear and GoPro stuff, full face helmet. You could put your riding shoes on there. The single bed, super comfy. Yeah, perfect. This room is the all the gear, no idea room. I'm sure we've all got a few mates that we'd uh, put in this one, that's for sure. This is the master bedroom though. It's got a whacking great double bed. So if you come as a couple, this is most likely where you'll stay. If you wanna get all your mates in here and cram as many people as possible, you might end up sharing that one. There's a single bed in here also, and you have got Morzine is the trail on this map here. Bedroom number three, this one is called the I Hate Hills room. Super cool room, really nice feeling to these ones because they're in the loft. It just makes it feel like super cozy and I don't know, really cool. You've got another trail map over here, Afan Forest. You've got some sick photos. So when you wake up in the morning, you're super inspired to get out on the bike and send it. And once again, two super comfortable, Single, single beds and storage for your clothes and your gear. The final bedroom, this one's called the King of Strava. Definitely not my room. I've never used that app in my life, but I'm sure there's loads of you that do. It's basically the same as the other one. Once again, loads of space for all your luggage. You've got some storage there, coat hangers, put all your gear and two super comfortable beds so you can recharge your batteries, get a good sleep, then you can get on the trails and smash those Strava times. As you've just seen, this house is super bike friendly. There's loads of parking. You've got the secure workshop, work on your bike. There's kept safe at night. The bike wash area to get rid of all the grime and dirt from the trail. Security cameras. It's just sick. Cooking, bike photos throughout the whole house. It's really cool. If you fancy staying here, head over to www.bikeparklodge.co.uk. Upon checkout, apply the discount code to TOM10. That will give you a 10% off and you can enjoy this awesome facility and the awesome trails that are nearby. On that note, that is the end of the video. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave some comments below and I will see you guys in the next video.